Hello, me hearties. A very, very good morning to you. It's just me, Scotty McCrew, and we're live on the big one. Welcome, welcome this morning to our Good Friday pop-up special. It's uh, 23 minutes past seven in the morning in the United Kingdom. Hi, says Ellis. Hi, Ellis. How lovely to have you with us, and a big thank you do. A very good morning to you, and a very warm welcome to our Good Friday special. I'm Scotty McClue, hashtag Flotai, the first lord of the internet. Always lovely to have you with us, and a very, very warm welcome. Lots and lots to talk about, of course, this Good Friday. Let me know if you're on holiday. Let me know where you're watching. Let me know what time it is where you're watching amazing followers as soon as you come on Lockstock. I thank you very much. Very, very good of you. And I believe everybody is now being told, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10, that Scotty McClue is live just for you. Dinky do. Marvellous. How fantastic that is. But get following. I'm in Yorkshire. Ellis, how lovely. Which part of God's country are you on? That's a wonderful start to Good Friday to have a Yorkshire in on. How amazing is that? Dinky do. Follow us as soon as you can. Scotty McClue is perhaps the world's only honorary Yorkshireman. Uh, what about that? I'm near Peterborough. Ah, oh, marvellous. Thank you very much, Lockstock. We like that. And a dinky do to you, I say. Lancashire is better says Starla. Well, I don't know about better. It's just different. I've lived in both Yorkshire and Lancashire, and I adore them both. They're very, very fine parts of the world. West Yorkshire. Ah, we like West Yorkshire. Would that include Leeds? I ask you. Cambridge. Ah, sorry. How amazing. We've got Sonny on from Cambridge, the university town, town and gown, I say. Can you say up the to fees, please? No, I couldn't. We don't want any more fees than we have to pay. Good morning, Mr. McClue. How are we today? User big man. How lovely to have you with us. Northumberland NE63. That's lovely, that. The West Midlands. Naismith. Amazing. I used to broadcast to the West Midlands. Uh, Scotty, how do I stop being sick? Uh, you don't eat or drink anything that might make you sick and stick to the water, I say. I used to listen to you on Hallam FM, Tigers Forever, Hallam FM. What a fabulous radio station that is. And I absolutely adored being on Hallam FM and sorting you lot out with a bit of information, education and entertainment. The Faroe Islands. How lovely to have you with us from the Faroe Islands Cruiserine. That is beautiful. Now, there we are, ADC. You would never know what I'm talking, because remember, you're a very, very, very low intelligence. So there you have it. But there's hope for you yet. Keep watching and keep learning. Watch and learn, young man. Watch and learn. Uh, Danny, lovely to have you with us, and a big dinky-doo from me, Scotty McClue. This is absolutely incredible. It's 7.27 in the morning, everybody. Uh, he's a dafty. You are a dafty, ADC. At least you've fessed up, good man. ADC has fessed up to being a dafty. Scotty lad, Luke, good morning. Sorry for the caps losing my sight. Not at all, Willie. Uh, we like the caps. I use them all the time. It's tremendous. I'll have a haggis supper, a jumbo sausage supper, and a can and of fizzy drink. Absolutely woof. That's what you need. And you have to woof it down when you get it. But do be careful. I don't want you getting indignation. Very important. ADC, you've been absolutely told. YFGT, you're quite right. You've got to tell the dafties, haven't you? Hi, Scotty, it's Gordon from Arbroath. Ah, the hame of the smoky. How lovely to have you with us. Up the reds, I say. Uh, were you in World War Two? And where is it then virtually Oz? If I was in World War Two, I would be 100. That was about my father was in World War Two as one of the youngest, and he would be 100 in May. Uh, there we are. Can you rank the Queen's children? I can indeed. Yes, 
You have um, Prince Charles, Princess Anne, Prince Andrew, and Prince Edward. There you are. That's the Queen's children for you, properly ranked. How are you doing? I'm from the black country in the Midlands, Roy. We love the Midlands. I used to broadcast to the Midlands every single night. How amazing is that? Welcome, welcome. If you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClue, hashtag Flutai, the first lord of the internet. And we're live on Good Friday morning, just to say dinky do to every single one of you. There we are. Good morning, Scotty. Aidan, good morning. You're up and about early this morning. Are you doing a bit of practice? <laughs> there we go. Now then, who have we got these days? Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do, that's what I say. Uh, S. Mookies, I don't know what you're on about. Uh, nothing has been proven. So you need to watch your gob and your thinking. That's what I would say to your advice. And uh, to see Harry and Meghan have met up with the Queen the first time in two years, Eurocon. Yes, I wouldn't have minded being a fly on the wall at that one, I can tell you. There we are, fantastic stuff. Now, the Queen is amazing. You know, I mean, she's 96, coming up 96. In fact, is she 96 next week? Well, there you are. Uh, Keith, I uh, absolutely not at all. Uh, so there we are. Now, Luke Spencer will have to give you a lifetime ban just for being a dafty. There we are. That's Luke gone. Bye, Luke. Uh, wonderful stuff. That's what we want. Luke has got some strange habits. Uh, now, who have we got here? Um, Roy, we don't need any of that. Thank you on here. Uh, we are lighthearted banter. And we don't need any of your negativity, I would say, uh, on here this morning. So that's the end of that. Uh, that's uh, Luke Gondun, the Swanee guys. Um, if royalists and parliamentarians went to war again, who would you support? Well, most of the parliamentarians, uh, parliamentarians will be royalists anyway, so you'd be supporting the same team. There we are. Now, who have we got here? Uh, the Queen and Princess Anne I have the most time for. Absolutely hidden. Uh, very, very, very hardworking. But so is the Prince of Wales. And so is Prince Edward. Uh, we are. Do forgive me. I think it's Roy. Yes, coming on with all that nasty negativity. That's nothing to do with the people on here. The Queen's truly an amazing lady and has done an amazing job for us. Thank you for following, Quiet. What's your thoughts on the SNP? I don't have any thoughts on the SNP. Uh, what's your thoughts on the Crown Show? Uh, quite interesting. I mean, obviously, there'll be one or two bits of artistic and creative license taken. Uh, you know, for instance, some of the backgrounds don't look like the backgrounds, and uh, some of the stuff might not be quite as it happened, but very good entertainment. <coughs> Do you need a mod, Scotty? We don't bother Magic Music Man. Very, very kind of you to offer. What we do is we just send the wee trolls down the swanee like a half-witted idiot that was on about his personal care. We just dumped him. Uh, Scotty, mate, uh, what do you got? Want to hit a bucket out the back with me? Uh, YFGH, we don't know what you're talking about. Now, there we are. So we're just saying cheerio. To our look, I think that is absolutely fantastic. Off he goes. Um, now then, should Boris Johnson resign? Uh, we'll see what happens there. You know, I mean, you could ask him to resign, but who would you get in his place? Um, I did not mean to cause offence. I'm new to the page. Well, Roy, we don't come in with all that sort of stuff. When, as I say, there's absolutely no evidence. Uh, good morning from Thurso. Good morning, Lewis. Uh, Scotty, mate, uh, do you want to align a gear? Uh, well, what you would do by aligning a gear, I didn't realize you were a motor engineer. You would have to make sure everything lines up. Otherwise, your gearbox won't actually work. I hope you have a lovely day. Have you ever been to Wigton? Yes. Many a time, what a fine part of the world. Very famous clock maker in, uh, in Wigton. So there we are. Happy birthday uh, to my sister, 
She's 21 today. Absolutely, Mr. Tear. Ah, you're some engineer, all right. Uh, trolls are toast. Never trolls, Scotty McLeod. I know these idiots should realise you never, ever, ever, ever troll Scotty McLeod. Uh, so there we have it. Uh, now, quiet for me, Cutsy. Every day is equal on here. So as far as we're concerned, uh, you know, there's no division. Okay, okay, everybody. Uh, do you prefer fishing or golf? Neither, Smokers. I don't do either. There we are. Uh, fantastic stuff. Knuckle Drag has just joined us. We're getting some quality this morning. I can tell you, if you've just joined us, make sure you're following. Uh, have you been to Tharzo? I've never actually been to Tharzo. I can tell you that for nothing. Uh, just a wee minute. I think we'll just sort this one out. This is quite funny. Um, right, this is Quiet Storm, just getting a lifetime ban for being an idiot. Wonderful, that's him. Right, there we are. Uh, we're getting rid of the idiots, guys, so you'll never, ever hear of them again. Uh, now, who else have you got? What do you do for fun? I, uh, I TikTok live. I think that's absolutely excellent. What do you do for fun, smokers? Uh, now, here we go. Uh, where have you been on holiday? Uh, there we are. Well, I don't do holidays. I go on uh, on work placement. Uh, Scotty, I have a feeling you were a proper mod in the 80s. Oh, yes, absolutely. I was most definitely a mod in the 80s. I gave you 200 likes. You're very kind. Uh, what have we got here? Floti, the man in the know, one in four humans know of this man, the human oracle. Absolutely, Hurricane. Two billion people know Scotty McClue. And any switched on people would know that you never, ever, ever troll Scotty McClue. It's like a law on the internet. We just don't do it. There we go. Do you listen to The Clash? I used to, yes. And the skids as well. Fantastic. And um, who are the gents on your wall? They are my good self. Moi. So there you have it. That's moi on the wall. There's moi saying good morning to your presentations. Uh, Scotty, do you remember when we've talked about Queen Victoria multiple times like a year ago? Preet, I do indeed. Absolutely excellent stuff. Now, who else have we got here? Lockstock is still with us. That's fantastic. Never, ever, ever miss a second of Scotty McClue or you miss a moment of life. All right? Always have that with you guys. You never miss a second of Scotty McClue or you miss a moment of life. Uh, best and worst British monarchs of all time. Uh, Queen Anne was a baddie, which is sad because she was a Stuart. King Billy was a very, very bad man. Uh, the Queen is probably the best ever. Um, her mother, the Queen Mother, and her father, King George the Sixth, excellent. Uh, George the Fifth and Edward the Seventh, excellent. Queen Victoria, very, very good indeed, of course. Uh, Kenneth MacAlpin. Uh, a goodie, David the First, Robert the Bruce, you know, all these wonderful people. Uh, Jamie the Saxed, very good. Mary, Queen of Scots, fantastic. Hi from Iceland, excellent, Jack. You're out doing the shopping this morning. Oh, sorry, from Iceland itself, from the country. How fantastic is that? Hello from South Georgia in the USA. What does dinky do actually mean, says grow in? Uh, dinky do means is all well with you and the rest of the world. Thoughts on Oliver Cromwell? An absolute 100% disaster of a man. There we are. Mon the Rangers, says Alexa. And of course, Mon the Hoops, Alexa, in uh, the interests of balance. We are the people. Fantastic. Uh, there's Jack, tremendous stuff, and um, he's uh, up to no good, I would say. So we don't want any of that, Jack. We don't have any of your extremists on here. That's the end of Jack. 
Right, there we go. Fantastic. So lovely to have you all with us. Make sure you follow as soon as you come on. Get following Scotty McClure. Get a look at all the TikTok videos. Remember never ever to troll or even attempt to troll or you'll just be made toast. Thoughts on Ireland unification? Well, it's more or less there at the moment. I mean, obviously Northern Ireland's very upset because of Brexit. And I did say before we even voted that Brexit would cause economic annihilation and the political fragmentation of the UK. I am still, thank you for your lovely corgi. I've just seen him. Hello, my friend. Hello, I am. I hope you are well and enjoying our Good Friday random pop-up for the Easter weekend. Come on the hoops, says Magic Musician. Absolutely. We are the people. Now then, who else have we got? Snap's joined us. That's excellent. Welcome, Snap. Lovely to have you with us. And a big dinky-doo from Scotty McClue. That's what it's about. First lord of the internet, hashtag flow tie, all uppercase. And make sure you like, share, and watch every single TikTok video because they're made with love for you. What Brexit consequences have you noticed? Well, we're not even fully out of the EU yet, and I notice huge increase in prices in the shops, huge increases in um, energy prices. I notice um, huge increases in fuel prices. I notice um, huge unemployment. I notice huge queues and meat rotting in wagons, big, big food problems caused by Brexit. And of course, even the protection, the fact we had a seat at the big table and no longer have. <coughs> what else has Brexit done? Completely robbed almost 70 million people of their EU citizenship overnight. And all just to ensure that a few billionaires don't have to pay their due tax. I don't know. I have, uh, don't forget about the famous hearts. Yes, the famous hearts grow in. Absolutely. I have ancestry from England and France. I think we all do. Uh, did the Leave crowd lie to the people? Oh, smokers. For goodness sake, do bears visit the woods? Empty shelf food rotting in lorries. Uh, human rights diminished, absolutely employment rights diminished, uh, shockingly bad government. It's, it just goes on. Brexit was just one big disaster, the biggest human error since the First World War. Uh, there we are. I think Biden and inflation, I'm sorry, from the U.S. Uh, I am still, no, not your job to apologize, but thank you. Uh, yes, indeed. Are we getting a recession soon? Grow in. We've been in a recession for about 14 years in the UK. Yeah, shocking, appalling. Uh, we had all that austerity, and then we had Brexit, and then we, oh, we had the banks. So the austerity was to get the banks back the money for their, to reward them for their incompetence. There we are. So your recession is here, dear boy. Wait till you get your gas bill and then you'll be able to have a wee think about if we're in recession or not. Wait till you go to try and fill up at the pumps, and then you can ask yourself if we're in recession or not. Wait till the inflation figures come out, and then you can ask yourself if we're in recession or not. There we are. Uh, the UK is getting right proper messed up, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. It's going to get worse before it gets better. In regards of recession, well, of course it is. Economic annihilation and political fragmentation. McClue's words. There we have it. I told you five years ago. There we are. Uh, skibby doo No. Russia was not behind Brexit, I can assure you. There we are. The United Kingdom was behind Brexit. I remember listening to you on the radio very late night many years ago, Scotty, one, two, four, Angel. You are 100% correct, and I think you'll be listening to me on the radio again soon. So there we have it. So good to have everybody with us on Good Friday morning. 
We had to get rid of a few idiots, but they've gone. It's fabulous. Uh, that's what it's all about. And the quality then starts to shine through. It's kind of crazy how we don't talk about the COVID now. And it rules our lives. Ruled our lives for nearly two years. Well, you're a con. We've talked about it all the time. I do not think anybody will be missing talking about it, uh, to be quite honest with you. Scott FM, yeah. Are you an Anglican Scotty? No, I'm a universalist. Uh, good Friday morning to you. Good morning, Skillby do. Lovely to have you with us. And a big dinky do. Welcome, 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 I say, to Scotty McClure's random pop up for Good Friday morning. So lovely to have you with us. Um, now, unfortunately, it's Ukraine and Russia. Correct? Yes, absolutely. What light, young Sir Liam? How lovely to have you with us. And dinky do. My heritage says so. I am still. You're 100% correct. You're very proud of your heritage, and rightly so. I lived in England for a time. I'm from Seattle. Nice to see you. Scooby Doo, we love to have you with us from the home of the media. I think of us moving to America. I may well move to Seattle. I believe it's beautiful. Now, who have we got here? Um, what's the timeline of you beginning on radio again? Growing, it could be within a month or two. I can tell you that. What football team do you support? None. Uh, and certainly not financially anymore, I can tell you. Uh, so there we are. So can we vote to get these buffoons out of Downing Street? Well, out of time, we need to spend. We need to spell buffoon properly before we can vote for anything. Uh, Australia here, Julie Mighty, lovely to have you with us, I say. Uh, morning, everybody, follow us as soon as you come on. Can you describe Universalist? Yes, somebody who has an appreciation of all faith. I think that would be the thing. Uh, why did Russia give, and he mentions a political party, uh, 548,000? We agree on so many things, not this. Well, I think uh, Russia gave many uh, things money. Uh, in America, the phrase dinky do has a completely different meaning. Manuel, we only have the phrase, it's very, very rare, and America has to write to me to use it. So there you have it, I tell you. It's a massive jumbo, says growing. Follow us as you can. This is my story. This is my song. I managed to book a flight to Glasgow later this evening. It got cheaper than they were asking. Good one, Garbles boy. Got it cheaper than they were asking. Good for you. Excellent stuff. So that's what they were looking for. So I take it you've changed flying companies. No names, no pack drill. Love it. Do you like that growing? There you are, you see. Uh, what's your radio show like? It's outstanding, Smokes. Why don't you go on to Scotty McClue's YouTube channel, subscribe, tap the bell, and you can join in it, right? Because uh, we do it later in the morning. We'll be doing one probably this evening, and we'll certainly do Saturday night at 9 o'clock for the big internet food in. Also, you'll get a lot of the actual radio recordings on YouTube. There's 3,000 videos on Scotty McClure's YouTube channel. There we are, Scotty McClure, Voice of the World Radio Talk Show. <laughs> I use Dinky Do all the time in the U.S. They love it. Well, you should write to me and pay your royalties. It's yourself. Dinky Do, happy good Friday float eye. Beachy, beachy. Hashtag FLOTI, First Lord of the Internet, how lovely to have you with us, and a massive dinky do to you. Uh, I live every day with my family's Scottish eyebrows. I'm sure you know what I mean. Uh, no, we don't have a clue what you mean, Skibby Doo. Uh, did television or internet threaten radio? Not at all, not ever. I've worked in television. I've worked in radio, and I've worked on the internet, all fabulous outlets. So they should complement each other. But um, people thought radio had had its day till Scotty McClue came along, and I am now the king of top radio in the United Kingdom.
Scotty, do you think social media is censoring you? Well, of course it is, because it's not my platform. So, I mean, certain social medias choose whether to show you and how widely. I love British phraseology. So there you are. What is a dosser? A dosser would be somebody who probably has to sleep in the street. They doss down in the street. So that's something. A homeless person, a hobo, H-O-B-O. -O. Are you broadcasting in Aberdeenshire soon? We're broadcasting in Aberdeenshire right now, out of time. Lovely day, you with us. Uh, fit like, Ken. Uh, there are to still have a dog. Um, no, sadly, he passed away about a year ago. That was Lord Clyde. The one behind me is Lord Reith. What a beautiful guy he was. Uh, where should I send the checks? Oh, I am still. I thank you very much. Uh, if you go on to YouTube, then you'll see um, paypal.me forward slash Scotty McClue. And you'll see GoFundMe. And you can send a few TikToks on here if you are so minded. <laughs> What's your favourite place to visit in Scotland? All of it. You can't beat it. I am still is sending me a corgi. That's wonderful, sir. I thank you for your kindness. Uh, who have we got here? Uh, we've got retiring to Thailand, hopefully in seven years. Good one, Garbles boy. Amazing. I hope you enjoy that and that you wear your tie in Thailand. How ironic. I was once a dosser. In Santa Monica in California. Well, there you are, Manuel. Yes, indeed, you dust down in the street. Uh, does that cover my copyright? There we are, fantastic. I am still, yes, you can say dinky do. Are you having a uh, phone in tomorrow? Not enough women phone in. Eden, I don't know about that. We had two the other night, uh, you know, so from that point of view, but Scotty McClue is slightly skewed towards the male side. Uh, 70 30. Uh, <laughs> but uh, we'll get more women on there, I think. They're just a little bit shy at phoning. Uh, fantastic. And uh, have you phoned yourself for a chat, Aidan, of course? Remember, we never criticize unless we can do better. I would never criticize your wonderful fingering and, um, and lip sync because I can't do better. Um, uh, fantastic. Yes, we'll have a phone in tomorrow at 9 o'clock. And we might even have one later this morning, around about the 10 o'clock mark, we'll see. But I popped up. I just wanted to see how everybody was doing this morning. Hello, you good-looking Scott. Sedge, Sydney. How lovely to have you with us and a big dinky do. Are we talking something like nine minutes to eat in the evening where you are? <coughs> or maybe an hour out. Uh, Skippy, do I can't tell yet. Are you conservative or Labour? Well, I can't think that small school be do. I'm apolitical. You know, I, 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 I'm not to the right or to the left. We think far too big for that on Scotty McClue. Uh, so there you are. So it, you can't label Scotty McClue. We don't label anybody on here. We don't do pronouns. We don't do race, creed, color, background, orientation, proclivity, any of that. Nothing divisive. And Eden says, I have verbal dyspraxia. It can be a pain when I'm anxious. Well, Eden, why would you be anxious talking to me? It's uh, 4.51 p.m. on Good Friday. Wow, said Sydney. And is that in Sydney in Australia? It's self. So uh, nine minutes to five in the evening, tea time. Well said, says Groen. <clears throat> uh, Maggie has just become a top viewer. So we can't call you good looking, Scott. You can call me anything you like, said Sydney. That's not divisive. Uh, every Scott is good looking. Uh, up early this morning, Scotty, are you Dolos? That's why you've managed to catch Scotty McClue. That's fantastic. Is it okay to be centered? Of course you can be centered, because then you can have a look at what's actually going on. Uh, fantastic. Or Nobel, the Nobel Peace Prize for Scotty McClue. We're all equal in the voice of the world, Gorbals boy. You're 100% correct. 
<coughs> Gruen has just become a top one viewer. Wow, that is massive, Gruen. Welcome, welcome. Can everybody share this right now? I am still has sent me champions. Wow, did you see what just happened? I am still. You are very generous. What a wonderful thing to do. There we have it, I see. Offy Grief has just joined us. Fantastic. Can everybody share right now? Have you all followed? If anybody's watching without following, rectify that right now, because we should all be following Scotty McClure. Are you partial to an Easter egg, Scotty? I am, Yurikan, but I'm on a diet at the moment to lose a little bit of timber, so um, I shan't be Easter egging this year, chocolate-wise. You like deep-fried food again, said Sydney. Special diet forbids the deep-fried fish and chips. Uh, does the Russian bear cast an ominous shadow over the European continent? Um, I don't think so, Manuel. I think it's very important that we don't demonize the country because of the uh, badness of the leader. So there we are, said Sydney. Absolutely. I've lost two stones since Christmas, says Aiden. Excellent, Aiden. Good news. Well done, you, sir. That's amazing. Uh, Jack Dinky Doo just joined us. Right, mate. I need to tidy up my flat and get my hair cut and get to Heathrow. Uh, so there we are. Talk soon, Scotty. Garbles, bye. You get yourself off to Heathrow. Take great care of your dear self. And Dinky Doo, and good morning. And a very happy Good Friday and Easter to you. Perfectly trimmed beard, Scotty. I thank you, John Tubon. It needs a little bit more, actually, I think. What do we think, guys? Do we think we need a little bit more of the Scotty McClue beard, the world's most famous beard? And uh, there we are. Have a lovely Easter weekend. God bless. Thank you, Jenny Clem. Uh, dinky do to you, I say. Ross has just joined us. A very warm welcome, Ross. Has everybody followed Scotty McClue? If you haven't, get following. Yes, indeed. Very, very important. Uh, now, who else have we got here? I'm just having a good look at all the different people coming and joining us. Just been amazing, this pop-up this morning. Remember that once you've found Scotty McClure, uh, check out all the beautiful TikTok videos, watch, like, and share, because they're made with love, especially for you. If anybody's a YouTuber, if you've got a YouTube account, then make sure you subscribe to Scotty McClure. Yes, indeed, Voice of the World Radio Talk Show. Voice of the World Radio Talk Show. And, of course, make sure you're well subscribed and that you've tapped the bell so you get your notifications of when we go live on YouTube. Tremendous stuff. Uh, who else have we got here? Let's see. Do you like a pint? Well, growing, I don't drink alcohol, so I like a pint of good Scottish water. <laughs> I like more than a pint. I like about two liters a day. Is that not just wonderful? What's your favorite biscuit, Scotty? Well, as again, you're come. I'm on the diet, but we love the Tunnock's caramel wafers and the Tunnock's tea cakes. <laughs> Cycling's good for weight loss. Uh, yes, yes, there's lots of things. Uh, swimming. Have you ever watched American football? What's your impression? Well, Manuel, I used to um, play rugby. So there's, uh, you know, a sort of similar type of ball. What's for breakfast, big man? It's the scrambled egg this morning, John T. Uh, have you ever had a ZZ top beard, Scotty? The go faster stripes down the side of your head? No. Uh, wonderful. Thank you, Gruen. So lovely to have you with us. If you've just joined, you're watching Scotty McClue. Hashtag Floatai. Never scroll and never troll, I say to you. Anne has followed us, Anne, 110Y. Thank you for following a thoroughly decent human being. Um, it's all about the Steelers. I have roots, and I've noticed you're a Steelers man. Uh, where do you live in Scotland? I've only been to Edinburgh. It was lovely. Uh, Skillby-doo, I am on the west coast, 
the opposite side to Edinburgh. Do you have a fireplace, Scotty? I do. Yes, indeed. When did you stop drinking alcohol? Uh, growing about seven years ago. <clears throat> I used to thoroughly enjoy it, and then I was going to see some friends on Christmas Day, and I was trying to calculate exactly how many um, hours for how many units to leave you, and I thought, do you know what? I actually can't be bothered with this. And nowadays, obviously, if you were um, even the tiniest bit, over a limit, certainly in Scotland, you'd become a criminal. I thought, I don't fancy that, so um, I just gave it up. And I don't miss it, to be absolutely honest with you. I think it's a bit of a con. Alcohol, tobacco, drugs, all a con to take your money off you. So give it up. That's why I would say my favourite TikTok person, House of Golden Retrievers, my favourite title and my favourite person. Uh, in return, I say to you, right back at you. Guys, <clears throat> it's just about to hit 8 o'clock in the morning. That's 8 a.m. in the United Kingdom. And I wanted to grab you all because a lot of the Easter people will be wanting to go to early morning services, sunrise services. Tell me if you've been to a sunrise service this morning, as um, either you would have been um, an early pagan or a Christian to go to the sunrise service on Good Friday. Dinky do should be a fan of the family. Go Steelers. Absolutely. Uh, Dinky do the fireplaces are great. My grandparents had a working one. Matthew, I've had working ones all my life. I stayed in a place called East Lothian and used to have log fires and coal fires all the time. Loved it. Out in the countryside, beautiful big roaring fire. That's fair enough, absolutely growing. You're right, says Skibidoo. I have a golden retriever, they are awesome dogs. Are you a religious man? Well, I believe in a power superior to mankind. I wouldn't like to think that Joe Biden or Boris Johnson or Nicholas Sturgeon were the absolute highest power in the world. So there you have it. Or, for that matter, Mr. Putin. Absolutely, Scotty Dinky do. Ramadan is on the go. It is, A.G. the Bill. No early service for me. Not a bad idea, though. Thank you. <coughs> Absolutely, Scotty do. What I used to do was go to a sunrise service, five o'clock in the morning, and then you uh, went back to a hall, and you had breakfast with everybody in the village or the town. Tremendous. Is the Scotsman the proper term to address a man from Scotland? It is indeed Manuel, a Scotsman. And uh, it's a great thing to be, I have to say, or a Scot. You say you have a Scot. Uh, now, I'm not sure why, but I'd love you to tell me off for being naughty. Oh, dear. No, no, I don't think we could indulge you in that way. Sounds slightly dodgy. That sounds lovely. Absolutely, skill we do. Went back for the fresh Scottish rolls or softies and the eggs. So it was absolutely out of this world. There we are. Tremendous stuff. Thank you very much. If you've just joined us, folks, a very, very good morning and a very warm welcome to Scotty McClue live on the big one. Yes, yeah, slightly dodgy. That sounded a wee bit slightly dodgy. A wee bit self-indulgent, if I may say. Right, time for more water for McLean. Oh, that is lush. We absolutely love it. Antonio's joined us. Oh, Antonio. Lovely to have you with us. And thank you. Hi from the Book of Time. The Book of Time, uh, do you do the Book of Any Other Herbs? The Book of Time, I love that handle. Fantastic. Thank you for all the beautiful generosity this morning, guys. Jack and Victor, who would win in a straight fight? They couldn't fight their way out a wet poke. So there you are. And they wouldn't fight each other anyway. They're uh, great friends. 
Uh, high quality H2O, oh, growing, it is just tremendous. The Scottish water better than English. Uh, it is jaunty by and large uh, because it comes from very, very fresh sources. <clears throat> now, what have we got here? There's Sophie has just joined us and Ryan has just joined us and EC2 and Hussies and Michael has just joined us. A very, very warm welcome to you all. Uh, you're watching Scotty McClue, hashtag Floatai, the first lord of the internet. And we are, of course, live on the big one. Tremendous stuff. Still game from Glasgow. I had to drink bottled water when I went to London and Spain. Oh, the London water is shocking. Absolutely shocking. That's something London just has not got right. But I suppose a lot of chalk. So the calcium is probably quite good for your bones. Uh, did you watch a TV show back in the day? No, I didn't, Aidan. I don't remember that one. Uh, I have to say, I go back a bit further. Um, I go back to um, Casey Jones, Stephen and a Roland. Casey Jones, you never have to guess. When you hear the tooting of the whistle, it's Casey at the throttle of the Cannonball Express. Uh, Loch Katrina. Yes, just Loch Katrin, Urican. Capital K and then A T R I N E. And there's a lovely old steamship plies Loch Katrin so that the diesel doesn't pollute it. And the steamship was uh, 1900, so it was 122 years old. KC Jones, absolutely. KC Jones, yes, was a favourite with a noggin of the nog. Indeed, we don't want that again. Uh, can you say good morning to my dog, please? Uh, he's a huge fan. I can, Jaunty. Good morning to Jaunty's dog. It's nice to talk to people from the other side of the pond. Ah, oh, skeeby do. It's a privilege and an honor to talk to people from the other side of the pond, I can tell you. Uh, wonderful. Don't forget Pugwash, Captain Pugwash. Yes, indeed. Uh, what's the most Scottish saying you can say? I would think it would be, it's a bra brecht man licht necht the necht. But you could also say something like, what did she say when you asked her? Well, she didn't say anything. She never said, ichi or ochi. Uh, you know, so we have that. We have soft water, Karen Valley water. Oh, the Karen Valley. Beautiful. Yes, all the wee, all the wee beach huts up at the river there, uh, right up the old uh, Tack Me Doon Road. Uh, clangers, yes, I remember clangers. I go back to that. I can go way back to watch with mother. Monday was picture book. Tuesday was Andy Pandy and Libby Lou. Wednesday was the flower pot men. Loosh, lub dub dub, lub wop de pop poo, weed. Uh, Thursday was rag, tag, and bobtail. And Friday was the wooden tops. Row, row. Oh, Sam. Uh, there we are. What's, uh, so that's the, what's, uh, the most Scottish sentence. So that's what I would say there. Morning, morning, Scotty. Good morning, Haldi. How are you, dear boy? Are you broadcasting live this morning? We love your lies. Fantastic. You are a character. Uh, a character, as we used to say, old English would be a character. He be a character. There we are. I suppose it was a sort of chara actor. Ah. Oh. That's absolutely lush. We love it. Scotty McClure saying thank you. Just for you, a very good morning and good Friday morning to our special Good Friday pop-up. Uh, what other countries have you visited? I am not, Alfro, well-traveled outside the UK. I am extremely well-traveled within the UK, <coughs> but my countries would be um, France, Germany, Portugal, Holland, and the Netherlands. See what I just did there. Belgium, uh, Germany, did I say Germany? Austria, uh, absolutely beautiful. Ireland, 
lovely, lovely. Uh, Greece. I visited Greece. I've been to Crete. Can you remember Muffin the Mule? Yes, careful how you handle this one. Um, indeed, wonderful with uh, Annette. Uh, now, what was Annette's second name? Annette Mills. And I'll tell you why it was Annette Mills, because Annette was the sister of Sir John Mills, the great British actor. Ever wanted to visit Australia? Of course, Alfro. I'd love to visit everywhere but I just don't get the time. I've kind of worked my life away, as a friend pointed out recently. He said, I don't know about you, Scotty. You've just worked your life away. The magic roundabout with Zebedee boing, and Florence. And Zebedee said, time for bed. We loved all that. Scotty McClure, Unicorn. Fantastic. Uh, of course. Ah, happy Easter, Lord Duke of the Dundee Onion Badge. Happy Easter to you, Onion Badgey. How lovely to have you with us. And a massive, massive dinky do to you, I say. Will of the Wisp, narrated by Kenneth Williams. Oh, right, Kenneth, yes. I hadn't realized how young Kenneth was when he passed away. Very, very sad. Great character. And uh, a friend of mine who was an actor and director and has directed me and sadly no longer with us was a great friend of Kenneth Williams. The two of them were students together in London. And apparently Kenneth used to be very naughty with his comments on the tube. Ooh, look at that. All that sort of idea. Will of the was Kenneth Williams. What a great character. I think, was he not the one that said, what's the point? Poor love. There we go. What a shame. But uh, anyway, you know, it's, uh, it's very difficult. We can't bring them back, I always say. That's what I always say. Uh, Scotty McClure, watching you, watching me, watching who? Uh, lovely to have you with us. And a big dinky do to every single one of you. Up you get, lazy bones. Off to what? The ones that don't have a holiday. It's ten past eight in the morning. Into the shower with the rest of you, I say. That's what it's about. And have a lovely, lovely good Friday morning. And what else have we got? There's Jock has just joined us. Come and say hello if you're joining us. And if you're watching Scotty McClue, make sure you've followed. Very important to follow, guys. Otherwise, you don't get your notifications. Uh, good morning from Whitney again, from Whitney in Oxfordshire, Brian. We absolutely love it. Oxford will be looking gorgeous this morning. Ah, and the veil of the white horse. There we are. Oxford with its dreamy spires will be looking amazing. So will Whitney. So will Wantage. So will Aston Tyrold. Aston Tyrold. Henley. Hartley Whitney, is Henley Oxfordshire or is it Berkshire? I think Henley is Oxon. Uh, there you have it. Uh, and I could tell you all the pubs as well. A uh, Blueberry, of course, Blueberry. We mustn't forget Blueberry. Lovely. And uh, and then Didcot. Didcot, I say. Uh, what will Northampton be looking like? Northampton will be looking maybe a little grey to start with, but very beautiful, I say. And everybody will be beavering away in Northampton itself, making shoes. Yes, that's what that's what used to happen. I don't know. Do you still have all the cobblers to Northampton? No, no, I don't mean cobblers to Northampton. I mean, do you still have all the shoemakers? Tremendous stuff. Thank you, guys, for all your generosity. Follow us as soon as you can. Thank you very much. Brian Gunn, uh, very good of you. Uh, were you reared among the heather, says the bridge officer? Well, uh, you know, not everybody has your lifestyle, bridge officer, but um, I was brought up in Scotland. There we are. I was reared with the porridge. Uh, fantastic. And uh, where were you reared yourself, bridge officer? There we are, we salute you, sir, on the bridge. Clear the bridge. 
<laughs> Tremendous. That's what we like. Where did you grow up, Scotty? I grew up in the west coast of Scotland, where I'm sitting right now, but I've walked all over the country. Hi, I'm Free Fife. Thank you, do. Hi, Free Fife. Again, lovely to hear you. We are Steve and uh, for all the Fifers and I, if you're watching, Ken, uh, we have a couple of high end shoemakers still making shoes. Well, I think I used to wear their high end shoes. So there we are. I was a big one for wearing high end shoes. Gentlemen's brogues. Wonderful stuff. A shout out to Wee Freddy. Oh, Vanessa. A shout out to Wee Freddy. I'm German Scottish. Yeah, dinky do. Nicht Deutsch sprechen. Ich bin ein Ausländer. Nicht verstehen. I reared in the County Clare of Erie, living in the States, the bridge officer. What a lovely place to be reared. I know County Clare very, very well indeed. You know what they say, an apple a day leads to a large annual apple consumption. It does well, certainly 365 apples a year. I don't think that's uh, excessive. Ich liebe die uh, absolutely or oh, supernatural. Ich liebe. There we are. Anthony Dinky Do. Lovely to have you with us and a very, very warm welcome to everybody who's joined Scotty McClure live on the TikTok this morning. Can you give us an American accent? Grow in. I don't think I could do an American accent unless I was from the Bronx in New York. There we go. What about that? Or from Brooklyn. Uh, the Boot and Shoe Museum in Northampton's Cultural Quarter is well worth a visit. I would think it is. Scotty, I love you. I thank you, TSN. Brian from Whitney. I used to frequent Ullapool a few years ago. <coughs> Isn't that lovely? I know Ullapool very, very well indeed. Loch Broom. Fantastic. Growing absolutely amazing. Was it any good? Okay. That's the way I speak. That's the way I'd probably do your late night television and radio. Uh, there we have it. Now then, uh, one of the best American, uh, one of the best uh, Scottish accents I ever heard an American do was the wonderful Robin Williams with his Scottish accent. Very good. Uh, very funny, man. So sorry he's no longer with us. I loved the guy. There we are, Robin Williams, guys, R.I.P. Request Scat in Patchy, Robin Williams. Yes, indeed. There we are. Now, uh, I always think of Jane Eyre when I think of Scotland because of the moors. Well, I don't think Jane Eyre was set on the Scottish moors, was it? Was she not set in uh, Derbyshire and Yorkshire, as Skibby do? Uh, what things are on your bucket list? My bucket list today, Eden, is I've got a lot of paperwork to catch up on. And that will take me till 10 o'clock. Some guy he was, he was. Love the accent. Thank you, Supernatural. And right back at you. That's what it's all about. There we go. Fantastic. Now then, uh, who have we got? West Coast agent. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Do, are you signing Scotty McClue up this morning? Uh, some guy, yeah, he was some guy growing, and he's so much missed, and he was such a lovely guy and genuinely funny and the genuine article. Your corrects are Derbyshire. I thought so, Skibby Do. Uh, bucket list is to see the goats that climb trees in Morocco. Oh, I see what you mean, A.J. the Bairn. Uh, the Simpsons voice actor Dan Costello does Groundskeeper. Willie really very well. Yes, indeed. Absolutely. Pip, pip, cheerio, West Coast agent. Pip, pip, cheerio. Thank you very much. Uh, that's the main thing. Genuine people are growing, yes. And Robin was the genuine article. We absolutely loved him. What a fine fellow, I say. Guys, I'm going to have to push off. It's been a real blast. And their guest this morning. Being with you, Robin Williams was awesome. I cried for days when he died. Holiday this year, Scotty. Well, Unicorn, I don't do holidays. I do uh, work placement. 
There are, I like your cap, West Coast agent. I thank you very much. If you check out Scotty McLean, it's my hallmark, one of them. There we are, 8.30. Come on, 8.30. Oh, there we are. I do, I do. Stay, stay. No, go, go. Mark and Mindy, we love that. Have a good day, Scotty. John Boddy, how lovely to have you with us, and you have a good day. Guys, uh, off for a trip out in the Vanden Pla. Ah, yes, the four-litre R. What a, what a beast that was. Uh, do you still see many of them about? Vanden Pla's four-litre R. Ah, I had the 1500. I had the, um, yes, Vanden Pla 1500. That was it. With uh, chocolate brown with biscuit hide seats. Beautiful walnut dash, the lot, picnic tables, everything. I'll need to search that. Do grow in, yes, search that. The Vanden Pla. Oh, definitely the four liter R. Especially one for you. Right, guys, I've got to dash. We're just about out of time. Were you born in the 18th century? Way before that knife. I'm a time traveler. I'm over 2 million years old. So there we have it. You see a few of the Austrian Allegro versions. Not so many. A lot of people hung on to the 1100s and the 1300. That was great. They did a wee automatic. Their green color was gorgeous. Rover, Unicorn. Yes, indeed. I don't know if you're shouting on the dog. Are you telling me about the 610, uh, the P4, oh, and the P5, oh, stop, the V8, the old Buick engine, stop, I love them, have a gorgeous day, guys, if you're on holiday, have a lovely holiday, if you're working, enjoy every second of it, love being you, it's a beautiful thing to be, stay fabulous, and a good Friday to you, Scotty, dink you do. See you next time. It was fun. It was indeed.